Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see image field. So why do we use image field? So as the name suggests, we basically use image field to upload an image. Okay. So let's go to the VS Code now. And here I'll go to models.py and uh, I'm thinking to remove these two fields join the date and files field okay so let's go to terminal and just run the server so i'll say python manage.py run server and i'll just copy this link go to the browser and paste that one and here i'll write slash admin now here i'll just log in as admin okay so we don't have admin user so i'll just go to the vs code back and i'll say python manage dot py create super user admin password will be admin and admin and i just say yes and the user is created Okay, so let me go ahead and see whether there is any data in the database or not. So I'll say python manage.py run server. I'll come over here, refresh, and we are logged in. Well, let's go to employee. Uh, we don't have any data, so I have deleted the data. Okay, while I was recording the video, so I'm recording this video second time. That's why. Okay, now let's close this. You also should delete all the data. Okay. And I'll just remove these two fields and here I'll add one another field which will be employee underscore profile equals to models dot image field and this both can be blank and true and here I'll say upload to emp underscore sorry underscore profile underscore fix and slash now here i'll also add on delete i don't think so we need to add this on delete but if it shows the error then we need to add this on delete field okay so i'll just explain you what that on delete is so when the particular user is been deleted okay at that time the field should be should perform some actions for example if we set on delete equals to models dot cascade then the image will be deleted from the database but whenever we say on delete equals to models dot null or null or set null at that time the field will become null okay so that is the case but we are not assigning any user foreign key that's why we don't need to add that particular property okay so i'll say python manage dot py make migrations okay so we don't have pillow so i need to install pillow so i'll say pip install pillow okay so pillow has been installed now i will just update this requirements dot txt so i'll say pip breeze and i'll say requirements.txt okay so we have added the pillow in the requirement.txt now let's close that one and i will say python manage.py make migrations okay so two field has been removed and one field has been added okay now i will just say migrate and i will say python manage.py run server okay so we have deleted two fields and we have added this one field for uploading the image okay so now let's go to forms.py now we need to remove this email field let me see whether we have no we don't need to remove that email field but we need to remove this employee file field okay and also this date time okay now here i will say image field 
Now let's go to models.py and copy this variable. Paste that one equals to forms dot image field. Okay. Now in here we can say label and it will be employee profile photo okay then we have uh, widgets so i'll say widget and here i'll say forms dot clearable file input and uh, inside this we can say attributes and I'll pass dictionary over here and I'll say class and um, form control form hyphen control okay done we have created this image image field import okay now I'll just copy this variable go to views.py now here since we have removed this employee file we need to remove that one also and since we have removed the field join the date we also need to remove that field also now here i'll say profile photo underscore photo equals to forms dot not forms only form dot cleared sorry clean underscore data and i'll just pass the variable okay now we need to paste that variable over here remove this one and also don't forget to change this field okay done this is it now let's go to the website the server has been reloaded okay i'll just go to website and i'll say visit site go to employee and we have these three fields okay now like here let me write yosh um here the email will be yosh at the yosh.com and i'll just choose the photo so here i can go to i'll just i'll just upload any thumbnail okay i have chose that image and i'll just say submit the data has been saved okay now let me go to admin panel I'll go to employee and we have one object over here and this here is that particular image you can see the image has been opened okay so this is it for the image field so yeah I hope you got the idea about image field how you can create image field in the forms of pi so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video I have one announcement to make Okay, so see you there. Thank you.